Good morning, everyone. William and Bam Johnson here to talk to you about the Complete Martial Artist book. And we were talking about the universal principles. And we're on principle number three, willingness. Willingness to me is faith. The ability to let go and let God go out on faith. Believing in the unseen. That was so important for me because all I seen in my environment was chaos, negativity. You know, if I didn't have a vision, a dream, and was not able to tap into things that I felt in my core, three inches below my belly button, I would still be there today. In that jail cell, I had to do the exact same thing. You know, I remember um, when I finally decided not to proceed forward with ending my life, okay, now it was time to move on and live. But man, I had to block out them four walls. I had to block out what was happening at home. I had to begin to dream and envision on what these possibilities would be. It's not anything new because I have been doing it all my life since I seen Bruce Lee on that movie screen, excuse me. But now I had to do it at a higher level. Through that stage of willingness, faith, hope, I realized inside myself that if I'm still connected and loving martial arts, after all of this, being in the gutter, being a little kid doing martial arts, and never letting the study of the arts go, that means that martial arts was my calling. Principle number three allowed Without me to be a principle receipt. one, two, I wouldn't be at three. They naturally flow. So by being true and honest about the principle of honesty and being open wholeheartedly about the principle of open-mindedness and then Maturing to the next stage of principle three, willingness, I was ready to go. I became free. I didn't see me as being a bad person. And when coming home as well with that $20 in a dream and getting custody of my son and believing that I would now open up my own business after all those failures of running a school since I was 17, I worked on in jail that I would take all the things that I did not do. I probably didn't know what to do, but I would have enough faith in doing the opposite of what I did do to reap the benefits. And it didn't matter. John Maxwell said, let's fall forward. Well, falling forward to me is encountering new challenges, going down a new path, trying it differently, continuing to press forward. And guess what? As long as you evaluate everything, you look at it honestly with an open mind and have enough faith because your heart and your spirit and your soul is right, guess what? You're going to learn from it, and it will become a stepping stone for you to take it to the next level. And that's what happened with me with my business. When I opened up the BAMS Universal Martial Arts Concepts with no degrees, no help, because remember, nobody was really trying to help me, even making it on the TV show. I had to look at the steps that I had taken way before then that to most were considered failures, but were stepping stones because I evaluated them. I just did the opposite, and look what it did. We have a school, been open for 18 years. We done had our ups and we done had our downs, and as a businessman, I know why we had our downs, I, value, I evaluated the situation. I noticed those little small things. So I can never repeat those same things again. It's like a fighter. As much as you like doing a reverse punch, you fighting this guy and you keep on trying to hit him with a reverse punch, it's not scoring, you wasting your time. You better find a way to adjust, find a way to fake and hit, do something. So if you don't have a copy of the Complete Martial Artist, and if you looked at it as a martial arts book, it was never written to be a martial arts book. It was a lifestyle change. Finding a way to holistically 
live as a more complete being, being able to deal with all the things that life brings you and all the things you got to go through and do in order to succeed in life and find peace from within. Principles are the most important. The martial technique and skill, vehicle used. But the principles are so universal, you can find them in anything that deals with human development. And we don't mean just, you know, as a fighter, but as a businessman, as a parent, as a husband. You know, whatever you want to be, these principles will serve that purpose. They will help you be true to who you are. Find your calling. Take a stand for what you believe. You can either stand for something or fall for anything. What are you going to do?